these APC governors all believe that every policy, since they are the one in government, every policy that should be coming out, you know, from Asura, from Buhari, should be for them and not against them. And since this time around, the policy is not is not even for anybody not to talk of is that the fact that it's against APC. All these APC governors then started claiming that there are some elements in Asurok working against, you know, their victory in election, claiming that uh, Buhari do not want Tinobu to win. The policy is directed at Tinobu. Imagine, they were saying this publicly, although the uh, police themselves have come out to threaten these governors to say that they are trying to, you know, create a tense atmosphere. They are trying to... Uh, create an uprising where people will start demonstrating and fighting against the government. Akere Deolu went on air yesterday to make all these allegations and you would not believe this. He's an APC gov uh, governor, by the way. These APC governors, they don't even mind publicly. They are antagonizing Buhari even after the meeting they had with Adamu. Though some of them boycotted the meeting because they felt that like, what are you going to tell us since you've done us dirty? What are you going to tell us? You're supposed to be for us. Like, we're supposed to be we we. Every policy you put out is supposed to be in our favor. Why are you doing us like this? <laughs> Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please, please, and um, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you will be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, leave your comments in the comment section. I love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. The Ondo State Governor, Rotimi Akiri Dolu, has said the Nara redesign and swap policy was targeted at truncating Saturday's presidential election and national assembly elections he had that the policy was also targeted at the all progressives congress presidential candidate bola tinubu to ensure he lost the election the governor stated these at the state broadcast head on electronic media outfits and the state on thursday morning barely 48 hours to the election According to him, the cash swap policy of the APC-led government and the alleged artificial scarcity of fuel are both little injections deliberately administered to demarcate the APC government, create an uncontrollable crisis in the nation, and finally frustrate the 2023 general elections. He said, the goal is to truncate the election and deny the country the service of a true pat patriot and endowed visionary with a proven record of character, knowledge, leadership and performance. It is also an attempt to abuse the principle of a rotational presidency by denying a section of this country its legitimate rights thereby fueling ethnic disaffection and creating a grave constitutional crisis in the country. Recall that in the course of these circumstances, I have offered clear and unequivocal statements as our stand on these dangerous and unfortunate adventure. To say the least, it is a dagger drawn at the heart of the ruling ABC on the eve of the elections in order to destroy it and the government it controls at the federal and state levels as the nation trojes on our resolve to deepen democracy and good governance must remain unflinching and abiding. Despite the desperate efforts by selfish and subversive elements within the government to destroy and uh, to destroy the multi-party politics in Nigeria, the dividends of good governance brought to the people by the APC remain 
indelible in the recent history of our states in particular and the nation in general the central purpose of the naira swap policy is to frustrate is that is tenable popularity and renowned acceptability across all tribes and religion in this country the goal is to truncate the election and deny the country the service of a true patriot an endowed visionary with a proven record of character knowledge leadership and performance it is also an attempt to abuse the principle of a rotational rotational presidency by denying a section of this country its legitimate right thereby fueling ethnic dissatisfaction and creating a grave constitutional crisis in the country while calling on people of the states to vote for the presidential and other candidates of the abc in saturday's election akiri dulu assured that tinubu if elected would tackle many challenges facing the country and the state in particular as your governor my duty to you as at this time of great confusion and frustration is therefore to provide you with clear vision of a path of redemption and hope my message to you is that despite all the well-planned introduces to deny you of your democratic rights and the future and prosperity of your offspring which ashiwa jubola tinubu ahmed represents i urge you to troop out massively and vote for the apc on saturday this is the time to separate the past from the future for rose in ondo state this is our time to vote for a president who identified with our challenges hmm, mm, mm. well said by akiri dulu governor of ondo state how can you like come out publicly to be saying a particular policy the cash policy is being directed at tinubu like what is he trying to achieve by saying that on air live publicly i don't understand what he's trying to achieve because i know that if people start demonstrating and fighting in a state and destroying things they would not be happy so i don't know why he has to come out publicly to tell people that the cash swap policy is directed at tinobu whereas it's not even directed at anyone let me know your thoughts in the comment section subscribe if you haven't i will see you in my next video bye for now